Hi, Stone. How's it going? Good over you. Doing well. Um, sorry. So, sorry. I didn't know I was starting. Threw me off. Um, obviously, this has not been a normal off season. I don't think we've spoken to you and since last year. So, take us a little bit through your off season, and then how have you seen that transition into camp with everyone coming back together? Um, with being an older guy, I kind of took advantage of that, of already knowing like what to do during the off season. So even when we were at home during the quarantine time, I still kept on my workout schedule and just kept a routine going because I'm a big routine guy. So just getting thrown off with that. And then just even coming back as a team, it's just been different since the get go. And then just transitioning into camp, it's been different. I mean, we can't even be in the locker room all together at the same time at this point. So it's just a different year, but we have to adjust to it. I know each year it's kind of been up in the, you've come into fall camp the past couple of seasons with a quarterback at the lead, but it's been a different guy the past couple of years each mm -hmm. time. What has this year been like with Kyle in the lead and, and how has he handled that? I think he's handled it great. Like they're kind of giving him a little more freedom on what to do just with some certain plays here and there, certain looks. So it's just, it's nice. Just he's getting us on the same page and stuff like that. So it's just, Nice knowing someone has an experience back there. Go to Nick Delatore. Hey, Stone. Um, how much do you think, you know, given how crazy the offseason was, getting as many guys back and, and kind of having that continuity um, will help you? I mean, I think it's great. Like, we're even clicking. Like, it doesn't seem like we missed a beat at all, even though we haven't hit somebody since. December or whatever it was, January or December in the Orange Bowl. So, I mean, just that brotherhood still clicking and the connections there. And then I guess the, the one new guy that, that we haven't seen yet, Stuart Reese, what did, what did he bring to the table as a veteran? And, and could you tell that he had played for Hevesy and played for Mullen with the way he was able to come in right away? Oh, yeah. Like, he didn't really – he already knew all the plays and everything like that and just – he knew the technique and everything. So it's just, he just kind of picked up where he left off and just a little adjustments here and there with certain stuff like that throughout the practice that we have to adjust to. But I mean, it, it'll help us greatly this year. Thanks, Tom. All right, we'll go to Edgar and then we'll go to Zach A. Yeah, hey Stone, what, what's the biggest uh, difference in this year's line that you're seeing from, from last year's unit? Um, definitely experience. Like last year, we were all unexperienced. There was just four of us and only one one return to starter. This year, it's just it's four returners basically. Like even Stewart, he's played at Mississippi State, but he's still still a returner. He knows what he has those game reps, unlike some of the younger guys. So I, I think we'll do pretty well this year as O line collectively. How much of an emphasis have you guys put on really creating more of a run game and having more balance on offense this year? I mean, we really haven't put an emphasis on it. We're still trying to stay balanced, but we've just cleaned up stuff technique-wise, like with Hevesy, just spent more time on certain looks here and there and specific techniques. Uh, how dangerous will that make Kyle Trask, though, if you guys can really balance it out a little bit more than it was a year ago? I mean, I think he'll put up numbers like he did last year and just light up the scoreboards every weekend. Thank you. Hey, Stone, just wanted to uh, get your thoughts on Ethan uh, making the switch to center in fall camp and just what do you think about how he's been doing so far at that spot? Uh, he's been doing great. He picked it up well. And um, it's just, I mean, it's a different thing for him, just, um, just different technique and stuff like that. But he came well and picked it up and learned quick. And he do well during practice, getting everyone on the same page. And then you, you mentioned just feeling like this group can take that next step this season. How much of that do you attribute to just everybody kind of knowing Hevesy's expectations and having played in the system now a couple of years, including Stewart? I mean, yeah, it's like, like you said, like everyone knows like what he expects and stuff like that. So everyone is another year under our belt of same offense and just different schemes like that. So I think it'll help greatly. Thanks, Tom. Go to David Waters. So how has it been? Uh, have, have you had a chance to go against uh, Brenton Cox yet? And what has he shown you from the other side of the ball? Yeah, we go at it every day. I mean, he's he's one of them 
speed rushers that can change it up. He's a great pass rusher. He has a bunch of different moves and stuff like that. So it's it's a little different than what we've been seeing the past couple of years, like with Zoo and Grenard and stuff like that. He kind of reminds me a little bit of Jakai, just with that speed and the get off. Thank you. Right, we'll go to Chris Harris. Hey Stone, I was just wondering, um, you see news reports of some of these teams that have high numbers of COVID uh, cases uh, being reported, what have you. What do you guys do to, you know, self-police each other and just, you know, basically in telling each other to make good decisions uh, along the way and try to, you know, be safe and so that you will eventually play a football season? I mean, I think it comes down to like the football standpoint. We all know what we can do this season. So we're just kind of taking that serious and our training staff's done a great job with setting up guidelines and like a routine that we have to do every day before we come in here and just kind of kept us spread out. So I think we just kind of continuing off of that and just buying in and just is it, is ourselves it, from within. Is it hard though, Stone? Because, you know, you guys are in college and um, it takes a little bit, it, it takes self-discipline to play football, but this is something no one bargained for when they signed up for this. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say it's definitely difficult for some people. I mean, myself, it's not just I'm, I'm not one to go out every weekend and stuff like that. But I mean, the students haven't been here, so it's been easy. We've just been the only people on campus. So I think with them coming back that we'll have to kind of keep our heads down and just stay in the direction of where we got a football season to play. Thank you. All right, All right. we're good. Thank you, Stone.